Foreman. Anissa Foreman? George Foreman's ex-wife? Oh, I gotta check this now. Oh, well, welcome everybody. I'm so ecstatic to be here. Um, my name is Lisa Foreman, as you know. Um, I'm not related to George Foreman, nor was I ever married to him. Um, anyway, How to Stop Yelling um, was based on a book um, that I wrote two years ago, and um, it's very precious to me, and um, I've, I've had a very horrible anger management problem uh, in my life, and uh, mostly young on my husband and my little kids. Um, but I think that this will be a great hour spent, and I'm going to help you, so let's get started. I got bills to pay, I got people knocking on my door, I'm getting things in the mail that aren't even for me. I don't know where to go in life. Talk quietly. Say it again. Say it again. I got things to things to say to people. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Bill. I hate my life, I hate my job, I hate my wife, my kids are annoying, they're always asking me for money. And I hate my wife too, because she asked me for it. Because there aren't other guys on the team, it's like they don't want to let me play, they don't want to let me there. I come in here, I don't know where I am, I don't know what time it is, I don't know what, if it's day or night, and I, I, can't, I don't even know where I parked my car. And, uh, and it's, it's probably in the parking lot. program? No. 
it finally paid off. Houston, we have deliciosity. Roger, Texas, that's one tasty snack. Now available in bite size. Yeah! Do you want a hot dog? Do you want a candy bar? Have both. Hot dog, candy bar, hot dog, candy bar. Houston, the bite size put me over the moon. You're fifteen. No one gets you. No one understands you. I know, man. They're all such hypocrites. Your parents. Give me a break. They're just like... They're just like your teachers. They just want to tell you what you can't do. And control you because it's all part of their sick power trip. Everything's so lame and stupid. Like last, like last weekend when you, you broke curfew and your dad got all mad at you. Like he never broke curfew when he was 15. What a hypocrite. Everything sucks. And your girlfriend, she never lets you just hang out with your buddies. Probably gonna have to let her loose. You gotta have your freedom. just a matter of muscling through the pain. You'll be alright, bro. Don't worry. Hello, Arthur Dridgely here. I'm here to give you Bruce Springsteen's songs about jobs. That's right, America's greatest American songwriter has written his greatest American masterpiece, Songs About Jobs. Performed by people with actual jobs. Featuring the doctor. I googled your symptoms, and the good news is you're gonna be okay. But you got a dollar copay. Copay. Order now for nine ninety nine. 